Rightio, session three for Ballarat Basketball, uh, rolling through some of our home program exercises again. And same format from what we've done in session one, session two, we've got our mobility, jump land, lower body strength, upper body strength, and core exercise. And the way we've done it is so from session one, session two is a progression, and so session three is a progression again. So as you're getting better, um, we're improving through, uh, we sort of keep making it a little bit more difficult. So, mobility for today. We're gonna to go into an arabesque, we're in our single leg RDL. So trying to think out about getting out nice and long. So Scott should get a nice little stretch through his left hamstring. He'll then come through, stand up tall, and go into a cradle. So we want one hand on that knee, the other hand under that ankle, and pulling up from there. So he should get a stretch through that glute. Then we'll step through and roll through the other side. So arabesque out nice and long. Very good. Pulling through. Up into that cradle, getting that glute stretch there. Perfect. Our jump and land today is a lateral bound. So working on our ability to move laterally across the court. So Scott's going to load up on his left leg. He's then going to explode out as far as he can and stick his landing on his right leg. Oh, not too bad. Let's see how we go on this one. Perfect. So the emphasis, once again, trying to get as far as we can while still trying to stick and absorb that landing. Very nice. Funny. Okay, for our strength exercise today, we're going to be rolling through a single leg squat. And so, I want you, so hopefully you've got access to a step, whether it's up onto your veranda, into the house, in the garage, whatever. You just need a little step. And so Scott's going to stand up on the box for us. If you want to go one foot close to the edge for us, Scotty. Yep. And so for our single leg squat, we want to be thinking everything is exactly the same as our other squat patterns. So from that top position, we're thinking about pushing that bum back towards the seat behind us as we slowly control down. Perfect. And then control back up. The big thing we want to focus on with our single leg squat is that that knee stays nice and still. We're trying to limit that movement that's happening there. Let's get to have a rest there. Let's go side on. So we can see that first movement is those hips coming back as we control down. Nice, slow, controlled movement. Perfect. Nice. We'll get rid of this one. Now. Upper body exercise today is going to be a back exercise. So our previous two weeks has been a push-up variation. We're now going to work on some of our posture work. So Scott's going to lie on his tummy. He's going to set up with his thumbs pretty much on his shoulders. From, and I want you to go thumbs to the sky for me, Scotty. Perfect. So from there, he's going to lift his elbows off the floor, press his thumbs forward in front of his head, out nice and long, perfect, and then controlling back in. So that whole time he's going to keep those elbows off the floor. So by doing that, he's got to squeeze these shoulder blades back together. And then press through again. Very nice. So just once again, as with everything we're rolling through, just keep that movement nice and slow and controlled. Perfect. Solid. All right. I'm actually going to get you to jump back on the floor. Sounds good. So for our core, our trunk stability exercise today, Scott's going to sit up in a push-up position. I'm going to get him to start with his feet, just for a, for a start, start with his feet a little bit wider, just to give you a better base of support. And so we're going to go through a plank position, shoulder and hip tap. So from the push-up position, Scott's going to go left hand to right shoulder, touch and pause. And then he'll reset. He'll go right hand to left shoulder, touch and pause. He'll then go left hand to right hip, reset, and right hand to left hip. Just roll through once more for you. So the big focus with this one is any time that hand is coming off the floor, we're focusing on keeping those hips as still as we can. So we want minimal movement happening through those hips. If we feel like we're going okay with those feet set up in the wide base, then you'd slowly bring those feet closer in together. Uh, 
expert. Do you have some good core control there? Oh, <laughs> Perfect. Have a crack at those ones. Head clouded, I'm base jumping. Had to make options so my shit can wait on her. Got some demons on my back.